Take two. Off the ground. <laughs> right In away. The air. <laughs> That's what I knew was going to happen with this plane. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's bring the flaps up and level it out a little bit. Negative ground speed. Can I do it? There it is. Uh, <laughs> Be flying, ready to bail out. We're flying kites today. Yeah. To do one last control systems check before I take off. I expect the right aileron to come up. Whoa! It's coming up. And it does. <laughs> I expect the elevator to come up and it does. I expect the rudder to come right and it does. I expect the rudder to go left and it does. All right, yeah. we have some wind today and we're going to be flying with the Reflex V2 gyro. So I also think because this is a stall plane, I'm going to take off in the grass. I'm going to do full flaps and full power. Fred, you think I can make it? Before, before I hit the, the runway. runway, that's the goal. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna see if it'll level out <laughs> first. Wow. Well, that's cheating. Now I gotta move the plane back. <laughs> We're bobbing. Take two. Off the ground. <laughs> right <In> away. The <laughs> that's what I knew was gonna happen with this plane. <laughs> that's funny. All right, let's bring the flaps up and level it out a little bit. And this has the Reflex V2, so I'm just gonna turn that on. We have a really nasty, windy day today, so I'm just gonna use the gyro. Why not? be able to get some nice slow flybys with this one. Oh yeah we're stationary here look at that negative ground speed can i do it there it is uh, <laughs> be ready to bail out we're flying kites today yeah that was fun Look at that Reflex V2 gyro doing its job. I'm out here flying and nobody else is. I got the field to myself. Nice. Yeah, I guess these other guys don't know about these gyros. I guess not. Look at that, very stable. It's not really a good day to try and tune the plane, like, you know, testing for yaw trim and all that stuff because you just don't know what the wind's gonna do and i do have the gyro on whoa whoa that was scary. that was kind of crazy it's a little gusty too it's not a steady wind yeah yeah that was a little crazy man wind got a hold of it and turned it around well let's try a couple little things we'll do a loop and see how that does Oh yeah, plenty of power for a loop. It didn't really want to roll too well, but man, we've got a strong headwind, so I can give it a little grace on that. Reflex V2 definitely doing its job though. We do not have the best visibility conditions either today. We've got a lot of great clouds out there, but I'm not having any problems at all making out the plane. I've got it. Nice slow pass, easy flyer. Yeah, I remember the 1300 millimeter Cub and I really enjoyed flying that plane. So I, I just knew this was gonna be a good flying plane. Let's try a little, uh, we'll try a bounce. And I don't need flaps at all. I have so much wind, I just don't need them. Let's see if I can touch the runway. There we go, a little bounce. Nice. See, battery voltage so far. Looks like 15.8 and about four minutes of flight time so far. You think all this wind taxes the gyro, which in turn taxes your battery a little bit? Not much. No. The gyro, so the gyro is probably, it's like not a load bearing. Thing, no, like, but it's creating surface tension by correcting them constantly. Well, I mean, that's that's not really the impact of the gyro, though. Like, whatever servo movement is required, 
um, that's a demand by the servo. The gyro is really maybe just maybe just implementing a more rapid control correction, so maybe a slight higher usage. But I mean, if the gyro weren't doing it, I would be. True. So because if you don't do something, then you're going to wind up splatting, and we don't want to do that. <laughs> Stationary. Flying kites. All right, I think that's enough. There's not a lot of testing I can do in the wind today to kind of test out the airframe. It's just too, too much. So I am going to put it down. We'll check the battery voltage when I'm done. But so far, I'm looking at about five minutes and 20 seconds of flight time. And I'm still at 15.9 on the battery, so I've got plenty of battery left. This feels to me like an easy seven minute flyer, like no problem there. But let's go ahead and set this one down and see how we do on, on the landing. Not gonna use flaps, simply I just don't need them. <laughs> nice. That's cool, man. Nice little airplane. We'll put this on the table and wrap the video up. Well, there was the first flight on the FMS 1700 millimeter Cub, and you can see I've got a flight time of five minutes and 50 seconds. My battery, I'll show you that in just a minute on the plane. The T power maxed out at 100 milliwatts, and RQOI got as low as 22%, which would explain the bump to 100 milliwatts. Batteries came down at about 3.86. That's with about three or four minutes of rest while we got ready to do the wrap up segment. So 3.86 on a six minute flight, that's fine. All right, here's a look at the scale and the Cub looks like about 2.155 pounds all up weight. And that is with a four cell 2650 in there. We do have a little bit of influence on the wind. We're doing the best we can, but it looks like about 2.1 pounds. I'm not as wide as I used to be to block the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as wide as it used to be to block the wind. Here's a watt meter test for the Cub. We've got a four cell battery in there that's topped off. Fred's going to run the power up. Anytime you're ready, Fred. Clear the prop. Burn the hole. All right, I saw, I saw 45 amps and about 715 watts. I'll put the actual number in post, but that's just what I saw during the test. Now we'll do the thrust test, and I'm gonna tear the scale off right there. I'm on zero out scale. Sensitive. The scale doesn't want to zero. There we go. Okay, anytime you're ready, Fred. All right, locked at 1.74 pounds on a two pound plane, and I'll put the stats in post for you. Well, that wraps up my maiden flight of the FMS 1700 millimeter Super Cub. I can tell you guys we did not have favorable conditions for this today. The wind is pretty nasty. So there's the wind sock. Uh, the gyro did a pretty good job managing that wind and it is a little blustery. So not a, kind, not a fun kind of wind to fly in. But I'd say overall the plane did fine. Six minutes of flight time. Batteries came down 3.85. So we definitely had at least another minute of flying. And as you saw with the, with the wind and the flaps, it takes off in no time at all. The rough field takeoff was no problem. The rough field landing, no problem. So yeah, just everything you'd expect. It's a very competent little sport plane, fun to fly, easy to see, sufficient power, even in wind like this. And the gyro, of course, makes it possible to fly on a nasty day. With those wheels and short takeoff, you can pretty much fly this thing anywhere as long as you got you know enough uh, airspace. Yeah. You don't need any kind of runway at all. I mean, we took off, we were off the ground in what, a foot? <laughs> Not <laughs> no, even, yeah. No time at all. And putting it down was basically a spot landing. You know, I, I put it right down, right on the edge of the Yeah, this zone. is perfect for, you know, the guy that's got a, a maybe an acre or two in the backyard and, yeah. you know, don't want to uh, spend the money on the runway or anything like that. You know, just take your lawnmower and put the deck to the lowest setting, cut your strip and go fly. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Perfect for that kind of flying. And it was easy to see, too. That was the other benefit. Thanks to FMS for sending the 1700 millimeter Cub out for review. I'll definitely take it to the field and fly it some more. Just a relaxing little plane to fly. Very enjoyable. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the bell so you know new videos hit the channel. YouTube should recommend another video for you right now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Later folks. And go fly something.